you with me and you not fixing it. So a break damn show ain't gonna make you fix it. You're gonna be doing what you wanna do, doing what you've been doing. What's up, baddies? Now, y'all know I don't sound like that. Let me stop. Okay? Let me stop. <laughs> what's up, baddies? It's your girl, Timarine. I'm back with another video. By the thumbnail, you already know what's going down. We're going down to the gym today. I'm going to ask a couple questions from a couple of my baddies. This is my personal opinion. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a counselor. I ain't go to school for it. I went to school for keeping it real. And I'm keeping it so real till I'm on my bed today. Because we having girl talk. And when you having girl talk, you with your, you be relaxed. So, stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. I am holding my camera today because I can't find my tripod. I can't find nothing. But I want to do this video, so I said I'm going to hold it. So hopefully don't be shaking and stuff while we talking while I'm talking. Because, baby, I'm holding her. I'm holding her, and I don't know how long I'm going to be able to hold her. But I'm going to hold her long enough to get this video going. So y'all going to have to ride out with your girl. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. But anyway, guys, let's hop into the video what you guys came for. Y'all didn't come to hear me rambling on, but I'm keeping it real so y'all won't be in the comments talking about, why she on her bed? Why does the camera keep moving? Why this? Why that? I'm going ahead and tell you up front so you ain't got to go down there and do it, even though some of y'all see it real, but I'm letting y'all know this is what's going on. Okay, baddies, so for the ones who've been watching my videos and rocking with your girl, y'all know I've asked y'all to leave me comments or DM me anything. We could talk about it. And then, so a couple of my girls did that, and I got their permission before I um, put it out on here. I got the permission. Is it okay for me, you know, to um, answer your questions on my video? Cool, cool, cool. You know, I'm, I'm going to ask because I don't want nobody to be like, girl, I DM'd you. So why is you out here telling my business? Whoop, 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 whoop. No, I asked for permission. So thank you, daddies, for the permission. But anyways, guys, I have my handy dandy notebook. Because <laughs> your girl, y'all already know your girl be all over the place. But anyways, okay, so one of the questions that I had was, I was I've been with my boyfriend for several years and I just found out that my boyfriend has a baby that is one year or so. What should I do? First I'm gonna tell you, do what you feel you need to do. You know what you need to do, you know what you wanna do. That's first. Secondly, I wanna say for me. I don't really know how I will be able to handle that situation. I mean, it depends on how long you've been with this man, your chemistry. I mean, it, it depends on a lot of things. Now, you ask yourself this. Are you ready to deal with a baby? You know, coming over, you taking care of the baby. Are you ready to deal with the baby mama, the drama? Or it may not be. Are you willing to accept this? It's all on you. It's very hard. It takes a very strong woman to be able to deal with something like that. I mean, it's, it's very hard. Also, it depends on if, does he, has he been cheating in the past? How long has he been cheating? Was his relationship with this woman? Did he know her before you? How long has he been dating her after y'all been messing, I mean, together? Dating. It's a lot of things that go with it, you know what I'm saying? It takes a strong person. But once you accept this situation into your life, that's what it is. And I know it may be hard, and this is my opinion on it. Like, once you accept the baby... And you accept the mother or not accept the mother, but accept the baby. You want to keep your relationship because that you love this man and you want to be with him. You have to be ready to deal with all that comes with it. Which means once you accept it, I know this is crazy, but you really can't keep bringing it up like that. Because it's either you're going to deal with it or you're not. Deal with it 
or you're not. It's a lot that come with it. Are you going to allow him to go over her house when she calls? If the baby is it needs something, are you going to let him go by himself and go do that for her, get what the baby needs? Are you going to go with him? Is it going to be a problem with the baby mama not wanting to get around? Can a baby mama pull up at your house? Where is he going to pick the baby up from? I mean, are you going to be allowed to attend to the baby? Is the mama going to be tripping to where you can't do for the baby when the baby's there? Like, it's a lot. And I'm very sorry that you are in this situation because you and the baby are the two innocent ones in this situation. But you are the two that are going to have to deal with a lot more. The baby is innocent. You're innocent. Sorry you're in this situation. Sometimes men don't think. They think with other parts. And that get them all screwed up. It may have been a simple little fling. It may not have been. But it's up to you. You need to really sit down and talk to your man. And you really need to think about, are you ready to deal with this? Because it's going to come with a lot. This baby's not going nowhere. So it's up to you. Whatever you choose. Whatever you choose, baby girl. All right. So the next one is, um, do you think it's okay to take care of your significant other? Okay, like I'ma always say, it's up to you, what you believe in, how you were raised, what you saw. It could be a lot of factors into why you feel like maybe you need to take care of your man. Hey, that's you. I personally think that it should be 50-50 if anything. If your man's not completely the sole provider, then it should be equal. I don't personally think that a woman should take care of a grown man. Especially if you have children, because you don't want your children to think that it's okay to take care of a man. You don't want your son thinking that it's okay for a woman to take care of him 24-7. You don't want your daughter to think that she got to bust her butt out here to take care of a man while he still up and do nothing. Now, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'm speaking for me because I have a daughter and I'm like, oh no. But what I would say is, it's different levels to this if you have a man who's been taking care of you and something happened to where that had to change then no problem with that if sometimes y'all want to switch it up like sometimes y'all go to dinner and you say baby i got that i got that baby i got that ain't nothing wrong with that it's nothing wrong with that but to take care of a man solely when he do nothing no no because no no we're not doing that because we just can't do that. But I do want to make this clear. I don't want nobody to be like, Simmery, you dead wrong for what you said. That's just my personal opinion. And let me clear it up. Now, like I said, if your man has been taking care of you and something happened with his health, he got laid off or anything, he got hurt, anything, by all means, pick it up. Pick up the slack, sis. Pick it up. But for a man to sit up when you go to work in the morning, he's still in the bed or he up playing the game and he ain't going to work and that's just what he do? Nah, we not doing that. No, no. You need to find somebody else because that ain't happening over here. Now, I will help you and I will get you on your feet. But I'm you. I I'm need you to get on your feet. I don't need for you to keep on talking about, oh, this came up, that, no, because we not finna keep doing too many of those. Okay, no. If you can do action label, red label, whatever it's called, you can do something. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong for the women who take care of that man. Kudos to you. You are strong, bad bitch. Okay, you that. But don't let these men take advantage of you. Don't make, don't, don't. Because sometimes these men feel like, oh, she can't do that because she want to be with me. No. Be with what? What are you doing? I mean, what is it that you're doing for me? What, what, what? Why do you feel like I'm gonna take care of you because I want a man? I want you. What are you doing? What? What are they doing, sis? So that's why I said we're not doing it. No. All right, daddy. So the next question is, how do I keep spice in my relationship after being with my man for so long? For those that don't know, I've been with my man for nine years. And sometimes the spice is a little tainted. It ain't as spicy as it needs to be because we're working parents. 
and we take care of four kids every day, four different personalities. We have one daughter who's doing her thing. You know, she's a little girl, but she has other things than the boys do. And then the boys are different ages. My oldest is 14, so we all over the place. So when do you find time for yourself? When do you find time to keep things spiced up? So what I do is every now and then I go put in a little lingerie, get a little spiffy, get a little sexy, and let him remind him of what he got, boo, and, and, and how I was, that it's still in me. But I be tired. I ain't going to lie. I be tired. But you got to keep the spice up in your relationship because you don't want your man wandering away with somebody else because you don't want to beat nobody up and be in trouble. We ain't trying to be in trouble, but we will be in trouble. I'll be in trouble, but I ain't trying to do that. So how do you do it? Make time. Put them kids to bed early. Do everything they need to do. You can stay at home, get cute, give your man a little lap dance. Y'all can have a conversation. Y'all can do whatever. But keep that spice in your relationship, sis. Keep that spice in your relationship. And I know it get hard sometimes, but you got to make yourself do it. Like I said, sis, put them kids to bed. Put on you some sexy lingerie, some booty shorts, a little shirt, some boxes, whatever it is that you feel cute and comfortable in. Let your man know, put some music on, dance for your man. Make your man remember why he got with you, sis, because sometimes these men be forgetting. Let that man know why he got with you. Let him know you still got it. Let him know you still got it, baby. Because sometimes when, when my boyfriend, I be having the baby. What? Baby, I am her, okay? I am her. I be saying her, but <laughs> I am her. I let my not put some music on. Because, see, my boyfriend, he's a rapper. He do rapping and stuff. So, baby, I go put his music on to let him know that I'm feeling his music, too. I put his music on. I make him sit in that chair and I dance for him. And I be drinking on my wine or whatever it is I got. I be like, sit back, boo. Tonight is about you. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, for real. Baby, you better do what you gotta do. Because I'm telling you, we ain't trying to beat nobody up about your man now. Hmm. Them men be wondering. And and it's wrong because we be so tired. And we be like, oh, I'm just so tired. Then they get tired of us saying that. So then they go out and find something else. That's what they do. But, uh-uh. No, ma'am. All right, baddies, this is the last one that I will be doing today. And this question is, how long should you take a break when you break up from your significant other? Like always, it's up to you, sis. You know how much space you need. You know what you need to work on. You know what your man needs to work on. You know if your man willing to work on it. You, you know how long you willing to take to allow him to get it together because we're not taking forever to get together because if you really love me I ain't I shouldn't be waiting that long first of all we shouldn't even be breaking up taking no break because you should be trying to make it work while we still together because in my mind taking a break you ain't gonna do it you with me and you not fixing it so a break damn show sure ain't gonna make you fix it you're gonna be doing what you want to do doing what you've been doing so be careful with them breaks because they love to say, ah, oh, no, nah, we was on a break. Not for you to be messing with other females. That's the problem we have now. We on break so you can get it together. But these men can't get no break because these men not going to do right. To them, that's a free pass, a free ticket. Oh, I'm going to be doing this, that, and the third because old girl going to take me back. No, we not doing that. So, if you got a man who you know is not going to do right, a break is not good for him. He's not going to do right. He's going to continue to do what he's doing. He's going to do even more. And they accept for you to accept all that baggage she's going to bring back to you. We ain't trying to do that. So, I don't know about the break, sis. I don't know about the break. Now, if you got a good man, well, if you got a good man, you should be breaking. I don't know. But it's up to you. Okay, baddies, I hope that you ladies enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions for me, DM me. It's she is Glam. It's going to be down there. Hit me up, and I hope I answer some of your questions. And I want more questions. I actually enjoyed doing this today, y'all. 
But like I said, these are just my opinions. Don't count me on it like that. This is just what I'm saying. If I was sitting down talking to my homegirl, my sister, and we just having chit-chat, I'll just be keeping it real with her because as women, we can lose ourselves in, in men thinking that our life revolves around a man. These men need to be chasing us because we are the, the best, okay? Well, anyways, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. Comment down below. Comment down below. Say it with me. Comment down below. I want you girls to comment down below. But DM me your personal questions, though. And I can answer them through DM, just me and you. Or if it's okay, I can put them on here like I did today. But I want to know, guys. So, anyways, guys, I love you. Stay self. <laughs> Stay self. Yeah, take care of self. I love you. Stay safe. Until next time, your girl Simmarie is out.